Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Esti and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I do one of my absolutely favorite things to do when I work on the front end of any application and that is how to add dynamic theme switching so that users can change between light and dark mode. I will be using Angular version 17 and for two out of the three ways that I'm going to show you I will be using Angular signals. So if you're interested keep on watching. this part of the video I'm gonna go over theme switching using Angular without any UI libraries or frameworks. So just native Angular version 17 using signals. The pros and cons of this option are that you can customize everything. Since you are defining your own styles you can define all the colors and absolutely everything. Another good plus is that you can use Angular signals and cons are that defining your own styles can be a little bit time consuming. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am already in a designated folder in my local machine and I'm going to start a new Angular app with ng new. I'm going to call it Angular v17 theme Now, when you create your app, obviously the name doesn't need to be that long, but I'm adding it to a public Git repo which you can use and I want to keep it a little bit more descriptive. Now, um, native means that I will not be using any UI libraries, so I will be writing my own CSS and I like to add style SCSS to start the app with SCSS. And I'm just going to create this app now. And once my app is created, I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code. So I have my Angular app created over here. What I'd like to do, the first thing is git add commit and push. And now I'm going to open up an integrated terminal over here. And I'm going to create a new component with ng generate components and it's going to be in a folder components. It's going to be in the folder components and then it's going to be called header because it's a header component. I will keep it simple. I'll only create the component that we need. Uh, yes, for over here. I'm going to go into the app component HTML. I'm going to erase everything and I'm going to open up the app components on the side because I'm going to need to first of all import header component. Let's import it in the app component ts and then in the app component html I'm just going to create a wrapper div which is going to be with the class of dark just for now. That's all I'm going to have and then I'm going to have the app header I'm not going to have any other components so I'm just going to erase that and just below it I will put in some dummy text. Hello from app component. At this point what I like to do is cd into the project npm install and run the project just to see what we have going on. Okay, and, and start to start it. Let's see which screen is gonna open up in. Okay, perfect in this one. Okay, and in the style CSS, I'm gonna add some styles that I have from a previous app that I was testing just for the sake of not wasting time. I'm just gonna copy them, copy them. And of course, they're going to be in the repo so you can just copy the styles or you can just define your own styles. The main idea is to have a class dark which applies all the colors for the dark theme and a class light which will be applying all the colors for the light theme. So that's in style as CSS. I'm going to save it. I'm going to open up an integrated terminal in the app folder. I'm going to create a service for the theme so it's going to be theme service. So ng generate service in folder services and it's going to be a whiskey uh, theme. It's going to be theme service. 
go into the theme service. Now, what I used to do before in my theme service, I was using a behavior subject, but this time I'm gonna be using Angular signals. First, I'm gonna define um, theme signal, which is gonna be a signal of type string. And I actually like to start with dark instead of light, so it will be dark in my case. Okay, and of course I need to import signal. So I'm storing the initial value of dark. Now I'm gonna set the theme. Okay, theme, which is a type of string. And now it's gonna be this. This dot theme signal dot set. And it's going to be set to theme. Then I'm going to have um, update, which is not going to take any arguments. It's going to use this dot theme signal update. That is correct. And now I'm going to take the value, and I'm going to use the ternary operator. Um, set the value okay it's already showing so if the value is dark i will set it to light and otherwise i will set it to dark so just a simple ternary operator over here that is enough for the service in app component ts yes, i'm going to inject the theme service by theme type of theme service it's going to equal inject theme service. Okay, did I? Okay, I got it over here. I usually like to rearrange the imports, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Going back to the app component HTML, instead of having this class over here, I'm going to use ng class where I will be grabbing the exact value of the theme signal. So theme service, theme signal. Okay, like this, so I can get the volume like this. And you can see over here behind a little bit that it is working because I have the dark styles right now and I'm already setting it to dark over here. Now in the index HTML, I want to use Google material symbols and icons. I'm going to start with menu. Let's see what do we have. Yep, there would be something that I can use. I'm going to grab the link that they provide, put it in the index HTML, and then in the header component, I'm going to add a little bit of styling and few more elements that I need. So starting with the wrapper div with the class of header, which helps me in styling. And then I'm just going to move this up here. So first I'm going to have a button, which is going to have the menu icon. So I'm just going to grab it, place it, Okay, so I'm going to have that first and there we go. Then I'm going to need to have two more buttons. Each of them is going to have a different icon. So what I need is the moon icon. Moon, I like this one. So taking this one. And um, let's try sun, but I think it was brightness. This one I like. Sunny. Okay. And I'm gonna add it for the second button. Okay, now I have all my buttons. I'm gonna copy styles that I have already, but before that, I wanna add another wrapper div with class of theme control where I'm gonna place all the buttons because. I actually want them to be at the end of the header and I'm going to be using um, justify content space between in a little bit. 
but I just want to put them in a separative and now I'm gonna just copy the styles that I have but it's important to know that they do not include any colors any coloring will be in the main global style the CSS file so here I'm just gonna have a styling like uh, display flex and aligning and things like that and padding something that I wanted to be true for both dark and light mode but I would not be adding any colors and here Heather works actually has to be pushed over here so it's in the middle and okay getting there now I'm going to add conditional rendering for the button and I'm gonna tie it up to the service class which means that first I'm gonna go into the header component and inject the service so theme service just like before and <laughs> you already recognize it so we have theme service inject theme service and I'm gonna um, date all missing imports so that I can actually use it both buttons are going to have a click event so each one of them can be used to change the theme and I'm gonna add a if statement and I'm gonna use the new control flow syntax for a if statement and depending on which theme it is I will be changing the button that displays if and then else that's a cool thing that I can actually use if and else I'm gonna put in the first button over here uh, we have the dark mode and then the sunny one this dot theme service get the theme signal and I'm gonna check if it's equal to well not light but dark <laughs> because I'm starting with dark and to have it working I need to add a click event to the buttons which is gonna be calling a very simple toggle toggle theme function and let's see it's gonna go into this theme service update theme that's exactly what I need so that is the click event which I'm gonna add to both okay toggle theme and then again just gonna copy the whole thing just gonna add it to the second button as well and with that let's have a look okay it works and it's beautiful I just love I just love changing the theme so those are all of the steps for changing the theme doing it this way of course you can add more styling you can add menu you can add whatever you like but I'm just showing just the basic functionality of switching the theme using signals make sure to have a look at the other two options of switching theme dynamically using angular version 17 have a look at the rest of my videos a lot of them are angular related thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.